Hello, my name is Elena Zioga. I am a PhD student at Trinity College Dublin and I would like to speak to you about the problem of pesticide residues in floral resources for bees. There is growing evidence that many wild bee species have declined in recent decades. Of all the stressors, the intensification of agriculture and the widespread use of synthetic pesticides are considered major drivers of those losses. But why is that so? Pesticides applied on crops include systemic herbicides, fungicides and insecticides. Systemic pesticides are applied through spraying or as seed treatments. Once they are released in soil, they can be translocated through the plant tissues, contaminating nectar and pollen of both crops and nearby growing wildflowers. Pollen and nectar are the main food source for bee pollinators and this oral exposure along with the direct contact exposure through spraying is of concern for their health and for the delivery of pollination services. To address this issue we use Ireland as an example of a European country. We performed flower samplings in two different years in order to extract pollen and nectar. Oilseed drape and field bean were chosen as our model crop species, while brambles were chosen as our model wild plant species. Pollen from bumblebees and honeybees foraging on the crops of the second year was also collected. As there are many factors that can influence the pesticide residues in pollen and nectar, such as crop type, application method, environmental conditions and others, the farmers of each site were interviewed in order to acquire all the information on the history of chemical applications on a specific field. Back in the lab, the desired amounts for the chemical analysis are 100 microliters for nectar and 100 milligrams for pollen. To get that amount, approximately 97,000 flowers had to be processed. During my presentation at One Health Environment and Society Conference, you will find out which compounds were detected in nectar and pollen, and I will describe the methods that were used for the extraction, detection and quantification of those compounds. Are the concentrations that we found toxic for bees and which were the most common compound mixtures that we found in each plant species? Looking forward to the One Health Environment and Society Conference 2022. See you all there!